IMDb slash Getty Listen, there is no denying that we're living in a golden age of television. Between the crown recreating a tampon gate and causing the royal family to spiral IRL, never not amusing, to the succession theme song being an absolute banger, to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry literally being about to drop a docu-series, to the sex lives of college girls pretty much being a docu-user. Kidding. There's always lots to complain about, and on today's agenda the subject is, ahem, shows from the 2000s that were cancelled way too soon. The early aughts were a transformative decade full of baby tees, CD binders, and the stench of Daisy by Marc Jacobs wafting in the wind. And it was also a time when streaming simply wasn't a thing yet. Meaning, network television was living large and pretty much drunk on power, in a chaotic cycle of green lighting TV shows only to cancel them one season later just when we were all getting attached. There are truly too many what were you thinking moments to count, including but not limited to Laguna Beach, cancelled after just three seasons? Criminal, Pushing Daisies, How Dare They, and of course Veronica Mars, the cancellation of which pissed everyone off so much fans had to take matters into their own hands and crowdsource an entire movie. Anyway, here are 50 shows that got cancelled before their time was up, and managed to upset everyone in the process. 1 of 50 Veronica Mars, 3 seasons, 2004 to 2007, 2 of 50 Alias, 5 seasons, 2001 to 2006, this show was a cultural reset. 3 of 50 Dark Angel, 2 seasons, 2000 to 2002, if you don't love me at my Dark Angel. You don't deserve me at my Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 4 of 50 Girlfriends, 8 Seasons, 2000 to 2008, the show that introduced us to Tracy Ellis Ross, and won her two NAACP Image Awards. Still mad this show was cancelled without a proper season finale. 5 of 50 Freaks and Geeks, one season, 1999 to 2000, K, technically Freaks and Geeks is a 90s show, but it ran into the aughts and I, for one, will never turn down an opportunity to complain about it being cancelled. 6 of 50 Angel, 5 seasons, 1999 to 2004, Angel walked so Edward Cullen could run. 7 of 50 Dollhouse, 2 seasons, 2009 to 2010. The premise for this show is literally a creepy company renting out human dolls from their network of underground doll houses, one of whom is sentient. So basically M3GAN but aughts? 8 of 50 Ghost Whisperer, 5 seasons, 2005 to 2010, everyone else spends formative years watching the OOC, me. Spends formative years watching Jennifer Love Hewitt and her sideswept bangs talk to ghosts. 9 of 50 Kyle XY, 3 seasons, 2006 to 2009. Never has anyone been so angsty while showing off their six pack. 10 of 50 Merlin, 5 seasons, 2008 to 2012, House of the Dragon Who. Never heard of her. 11 of 50 Lizzie McGuire, 2 seasons, 2001 to 2004. The fact that Lizzie McGuire was only on for 2 seasons is a crime that Mickey Mouse and his Mouseketeers should have to pay for. 2 of 50 Joan of Arcadia, 2 seasons, 2003 to 2005. If you missed this one, it's basically Joan Osborne's What If God Was One Of Us, but a TV show. 3 of 50 Roswell, 3 seasons, 1999 to 2002, would happily let aliens abduct me if it meant bringing back this show. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.